Welcome back, guys, to another roundtable. My name is Adam. I have Rusman. Hello. Victor. Hi, Juan. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to talk about some of our favorite investment research websites that we use personally uh, when we're doing our research for the US market specifically. So for today, we're just, talk, we're just going to talk about the US markets, how we do our research. Because uh, every once in a while, we will get emails from readers or viewers saying, how do you find information, data for the companies that you do research on? All right, I think that's quite a common question, especially for someone who's just starting out. And the other question is, is it free? All right, so I think we're going to share some of the free websites that we use. Uh, they have some paid features as well, but if you don't want to do that, a lot of them are free. And there's a lot of good information yep. when it's free as well. Uh, and we use them ourselves, all right? So we're going to share some of the most useful ones that we have, and maybe they will find them useful as well. So let's uh, bring up the first one. I think the, the first one we will always say is actually Seeking Alpha. I think Seeking Alpha has been in the market for a long time, right? Mm. Uh, they give you a lot of information, analysis, you know, transcripts, and uh, they also have their own watch list, but that's a paid features, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want free, you just Google certain uh, company Seeking Alpha. There's always this link that in the Google, you can go and take a look, right? Uh, and usually, I think it's usually the older, older type of analysis, right? But if you want the newer one, there's a paid feature for Seeking Alpha, which I think is very useful because what I usually do with Seeking Alpha is that I want to understand the public opinion you know, of mm -hmm. this certain company, okay? Let's say the share price has fallen. Why? Why is it happened? So you go and read through, you roughly know, very quick analysis, you already know, okay, uh, this is the problem that caused the share price to decrease. Then mm -hmm. you ask yourself whether is it temporary or is it permanent? So that's how I usually will seek opinion from Seeking Alpha. So that's one part. And the second part is that they also have a uh, transcript over there that you can go and read. But if, even though transcripts are free on the internet, but Seeking Alpha already help you to consolidate all the transcript over there. Yeah. Right? They also have their fundamental data. They got their watch list. And, it, and you also can put price alert on Seeking Alpha so that like, let's say example, your intrigue value, the buy price is like $100. So you can put a, a mm. price alert hundred. So when it reach hundred dollar, you just signal you and yeah. I think those are that's for that feature is for uh, paid users. I think yeah. But, but if you're free, you can use Yahoo Finance. I okay. think that's All a right. free feature for that. All yeah. right. So yeah. So assuming you're a premium user of Seeking Alpha, one feature that I really like is that you know every companies that you go, there will always be different investor with different yes uh, sentiment in their stock. Mm -hmm. Right. So they will write about okay, bull analysis and then bear. Yeah. What is their take on that? So you get to see. And then hear their perspective, whether yeah. they are bullish about this stock or they are bearish about this stock, and then you can make an informed yeah. decision based on that. Yeah, I always like to yeah. look at the bearish, yeah. the bearish type yeah. of uh, analysis because I want to know where where did I miss out? You know, mm. yep. maybe yep. sometimes I cannot see certain things, but certain investors, you know, because it's a crowd funded, right? They can see certain things, mm -hmm. and from there I will see that okay, does it make sense or does it not make sense? Yeah. So, yeah. I think Seeking Alpha is the best website when it comes to crowdsourced uh, yep. research because sometimes you just get news from CNBC and stuff like that or some from the uh, analysts out there. Yeah. But it's good to have basically people around the world, investors like you and me, that just have a huge interest in investing in the companies that they follow. Yeah. And they write about their opinions and some of them are actually really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are not so good. <laughs> so you do have to discern whether the <laughs> yeah. analysis holds his weight in water and all that. Yeah. But it's great because it's crowdsourced. So you get a whole range of opinions. And like you said, I, I also like to look, read the bad news. What's wrong with, <laughs> what could be potentially wrong with yeah. the company that I like? Yeah. And that maybe help me spot a few blind spots that I didn't see for myself. Yeah. So I think if you're a US, US investor yeah. right, or you invest in US market, I think premium is a good way to consider. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. But anyway, Seeking Alpha <laughs> is free. They have uh, paid features as well. But if not, if you don't pay for that, the, the free stuff is actually really, really good as well. Uh, do check it out, Seeking Alpha. We do have a link for that if you want to sign up through our link. It's fifthperson.com slash Seeking Alpha. If not, you can always go directly as well. But we think it's a great site that we use ourselves. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's bring up the next site that the you guys use. The next site is going to be this uh, free website, uh, finvist, uh, F I N V I Z dot mm -hmm. com. All right. So this is the website where I usually pop by to take a look at the company for any insider trades. Okay. Okay, because if you key in any company and then you actually can go down and scroll down all the way to the part where they do have insider trading, right? You get to see which directors are buying, are they selling, do they exercise the option, where right? which date and how much they have sold, right? So all these informations, uh, they have to declare, right? So this site actually kind of like compile it for you. 
mm-hmm. right? And it's free anyway, right? So I like to come here and just take a look. Of course, they do also provide some of the fundamental data, but some of some of those features, of course, you need to be a premium uh, subscriber. Okay, and the other features that I use a lot under FinVis is actually the stock filter. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, you can actually screen companies based on the fundamental criteria that you have, like for example, your ROE, return on investment, or return on equity, or you can screen based on the operating margin, uh, even the valuation as well, right? Mm-hmm. And if you are technical investors, you can actually screen some of the technical yeah. stuff on the FinVis itself, although I have not tried it myself. Yeah. Okay, I only tried it on the fundamental data side. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. for FinVis, I think they got one of the most like, I. I it's free, the screener is free, and I think it's one of the most powerful uh, free screener out mm-hmm. there, right, mm-hmm. that you can use, right? And gives you like investment ideas. Because yes, sometimes yeah. you're like, okay, what should I look out for? Yeah. And then it's like, hey, maybe I should just punch in some numbers. Yeah. And the stock just comes out. Wow. Yeah. They pass all these criteria. <laughs> I've yeah. never heard of this company. And then you find out, wow, this is actually something that's worth looking at. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of the screener out there, the the when when you screen, right, there's only a few criteria they allow, right? But mm-hmm. Finvis, they you can screen all sorts of fundamentals okay. criteria even screen by valuation like price to free cash flow okay. below this certain amount yeah. they, you also can screen it out right? okay. so that, that's Finvis yeah. so once you screen it out you can take that company and then go to Seeking Alpha you can read, read, more, read more analysis analysis from <laughs> yeah. other people okay. if you want it that way that's yeah. a process that you can actually so use we kind of like use all these websites interchangeably interchangeably we just yes. jump around yeah. uh, and f- like you said insider trades are very useful as well because if insiders See, are buying yeah, a lot of shares that could point to something. Yeah, although in the US you get to see more selling than yeah, buying. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like people sell all the time for any reason. Yeah. It's kind of uh, that's kind of normal. But, yeah, but when, when people buying, are buying all the yeah. time, that that piques your interest. Yes. So Finviz is very useful for that. Yeah. All yeah. right. So that's for Finviz. I'm sure there are a lot of other features as well uh, in, on Finviz that we we're not covering right now. But this is how we use Finviz. Uh, but we're just going to cover the things that you know we use for yeah. this partic- for these particular websites. The other sites that I think uh, a lot of people will find it useful is this uh, website called Data Roma. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, and this is the site where I think you will get to see a lot of super investors. I mean, if you admire them, mm-hmm. uh, people like Charlie Munger, Guys, guys Buyer, right? And yeah, a bunch of list of people they actually listed down. Uh, you get to see what they are holding mm-hmm. in their portfolio in the US, mm-hmm. right? And you get to see what is their latest buy or sell transaction, okay? okay. So, uh, of course, because these guys, they are big and then they have to declare mm-hmm. right, again, okay? And this website kind of like compile it and then show you what these super investors are doing with their own money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. it's useful, okay, if you are you not know, following certain uh, super investors. So, for example, like uh, Charlie Munger, right? I mean, uh, you know, we talk about Alibaba, and then you get to see what Charlie Munger is doing with the Daily Journal Corp. You know, whether they are still holding on to Alibaba share, just by simply coming to this website, and then it will show you that oh, they are still holding uh, shares, and they will also share share with you whether they are reducing the share or they are increasing the share. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think Guru Focus is another, is another website that does this as well. Yes. But this one's uh this one's free as well. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know free. if Guru Focus is no uh f- behind a p- premium service as well. But Data Roma is free. free. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. ten more than ten years ago when we you know when we were doing investing, super invest. Uh, so Guru Focus is the popular one, right? Yeah, Usually yeah. people go to. But nowadays you have a lot of free other options, well. other option, yeah. and Data Roma is apparently yeah. free. I think yeah. if you're on screen for insider. Uh, buying also data roma have this tab called insider you can okay. screen from there you can screen you know uh the time frame between day week month three months six months one year two years people that you can check screen between uh purchasing and sales also or okay. both of them right all right. All right so so that is also a a, a good way to real, really look at uh like who is really buying a lot of shares what and the big boys why, are why, buying uh, why are they buying selling. right okay and you can go and take a look at all those companies yeah uh, if i you think see people are always interested in yeah. super investors because they're the best in the yes. business yeah. Yeah. Um, and that kind of gives you some investment ideas yeah. if they're buying or selling, selling something yeah but, but this insider is not based on the super investor but rather based on the insider trading of the oh the particular company company right, right? who is buying yeah, or yeah. the insider trading yeah uh, but I guess when it comes to what the super investors are doing everyone's going to be interest, interested interested yes, in what they're doing right. because yeah. they're the, the best in the business yeah. uh, at the same time we can't blindly follow them because they have very yes, different yes, yeah. portfolio uh, goals and they have different financial financial position altogether. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's good for investment ideas. Yeah. Because I think it's a good starting point. It's a good starting yeah. point to get ideas. What are they looking at? Why? And then you still have to make your own decision whether it suits you and your risk profile and all that. Yeah. So don't just blindly follow the big boys, but it's a really good place to find uh, really good ideas as well. Yeah. All right, let's go on to the next uh, website that we have. 
I think the next website you can consider, uh, they have uh, free fundamental data for uh, US site is uh, actually RIC.ai. Nice. Yeah. So if you go into RIC.ai, let's say as a, example, Amazon, you go in, they have the share price chart over there and they have all the valuation uh, in terms of fundamental matrix and valuation, uh, sorry, fundamental matrix uh, and also like RIC, return on capital, return on equities, all, all down there and they give you from 2007 all the way until the latest uh, financial years, right? And this, in fact, right, they also give you the description, the insider buying, the capital structure, and also you can also get a free transcript from there also. Mm -hmm. And their transcript is, I think, presented in a much easy to read format, actually. Okay. Yeah, right, so you can go and take a look over there. And on top of that, uh, they if you if you are very into like those old school, how, how Warren Buffett really looks at the financial data, right? you can go to the classic view, okay. right? The classic view basically is how those older generation uh, investors like Warren Buffett, how they really see like the Moody's. Kind of looks like a newspaper. Yeah, you <laughs> can see they, they actually did that for you in, in the old school way and okay. to let you get used if you like to see how Warren Buffett sees, okay. see financial statements. So uh, so that's like, uh, sorry, see those like Moody's reports and all this. Okay. This is how it is presented, right? So the, for the US side, I think majority of the US companies are free, okay. right? But this com this RIC.ai, they also have like, I said, the whole world, right? So I think the, other than the US, probably you have, you have to go through a paywall is, and the price they charge is quite uh, reasonable for uh, just a financial you know, transcript and all this. All right. So basically, RIC AI is for financial data. Yes, correct. So like the, all the revenue, cash flow, profit, yes. margins, ratios, all yeah. that is listed there for the last yes, 10, 15 years. Yeah. And, and they show you in terms of numbers, but if you want to see the chart, you just click on it and there's a chart. The chart will come out from okay. there. Yeah. All right. So that's RIC.AI. Yes. Uh, a lot of AI companies nowadays <laughs> as well. Uh, the one that I like to use is called YCharts. So I've been using YCharts for many years now. I think it's kind of similar to RIC.AI. Uh, YCharts is a paid service, um, but they kind of have like, you, if you go to YCharts and you look for a particular ratio or metric, uh, it shows you everything in a very nice chart. It looks yep. great. And it's free for like, I think the first 10 charts or something like that. After that, you get into a paywall. Uh, but maybe you can change and use a VPN or something. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, like, I love using white charts because they have a lot of financial data and you can just pick and choose all the data that you want. And then it plots everything out on a chart. And then mm. maybe you can see over oh, 5, 10, 15 or max years. Uh, and compare them to different companies as well. Yep. All right. Uh, one of the things I really find useful about white charts is that they also provide uh, valuation data. So if you want to see the price to earnings ratio for, um, let's say for example, Alphabet over the last 10 years, it yeah. shows you the chart of how yeah, it's priced yeah. to earnings. Yes. On a daily basis. Uh, on a daily basis, yeah. yeah. So you kind of have, if some companies do have a range where they trade within their valuation metrics and that, that's really useful. Yeah. Uh, if you're using, uh, you know, pr uh, price version, uh, uh, mean reversion yeah, to correct. kind of value companies yeah. as well. Uh, so white charts is really, really useful. It's very good. I also yeah, use it. Use also. it as well. And yeah. you can export all the financial data, put it into your Excel and do the charts the way you want it as well. Yeah. So I think white charts is very useful for that. Uh, they have other things as well. They have screeners as well, but the way we use it, uh, purely for financial data and charts and valuation yeah. as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so these are the resources that I think you guys can use. And as a retail investor, of course, if you have more budget, you can go for those uh, powerful terminals like Bloomberg. Yeah. It has sort of everything that we discussed yeah. here. <laughs> we didn't consider getting Bloomberg, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> price is price is really, yeah. really high. Thirty thousand dollars a year. A year. Is it in USD? <laughs> US <or> dollars. US <laughs> dollars. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll get that soon. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, so we didn't want to come up with uh Bloomberg options because the, for the retail investor it doesn't make yeah, sense. It just doesn't make so sense. all these websites, a lot of data nowadays is just, just freely available for yeah. the retail investor, especially for the US markets anyway. Uh, and you can get them for free. And yeah. I mean, some of them have paid features as well, but a lot of it is free. You can just use them as as much as you like. Yeah. Maybe you can get Bloomberg to sponsor us in the <laughs> future, right? We can use Bloomberg yeah, and sources. And, and we just put it right in front of the <laughs> yeah. table and you can have a look Sponsored at it. Sponsored by Bloomberg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yes. So these are the free resource that you, resources that you can consider for yourself. They cover qualitative analysis like Seeking Alpha and of course, quantitative uh, data as well, like white charts, RIC.ai, uh, screen and all that stuff so do check them out if you're still looking for resources you know places where you can just get all this information re reliably 
and yep. we use them ourselves. Of course, uh, you know, if you use them in other ways, let us know as well. So I think that's pretty much it, right, guys? Yeah. Yep. All right. So my name is Adam. That is Roseman. Thank you. That's Thank Victor. You. Thank you so much for joining us. If you like this roundtable, please hit the like button. Uh, any questions, comments, put them in the comment section. Tell us more if you use these websites as well, how you use them. And of course, uh, subscribe to our channel. Many more roundtables coming up, and we'd love to see you again.